Hello. In this video, we'll be talking about the analysis of low and high points in pressure pipe networks in InfraWizard. This feature will help you in defining the suitable locations of air release valves and drain valves in water distribution networks and transmission lines. This can be a tedious task if you do it manually by tracing the pipe levels. So InfraWizard has a nice feature for finding these low and high points automatically based on the pipe levels and the connectivity between them. When you create or import a new pressure network, InfraWizard will automatically detect the low and high points in the network and will indicate every high point with a green symbol like this one and indicate every low point with a red symbol like this one. This is the longitudinal profile of the water line called PW1. It starts at the station 0 here and ends at station 283 at this node. In the plan view of this line, there is a low point indicated at this node called J22 and a high point located at this node called J20. InfraWizard uses a simple logic for defining low and high points in pipelines. It considers a node as a low point when the pipe center level at it is lower than the pipe center levels of all nodes connected to it. Oppositely, it considers a node as a high point when the pipe center level at it is higher than the pipe center levels of all nodes connected to it. Similar to the crossing annotations, the marks of low and high points are instantly updated by InfraWizard when you make any change to the network that affects their status. For example, if I edit this node, lowering its invert level by 2 meters, you'll notice that the high point symbol is directly replaced with a low point symbol and a new high point has appeared at the previous node. We can simply check this on the longitudinal profile. This is the node J20, which I lowered by 2 meters, so it became lower than the two nodes connected to it. And the node J21 is now higher than the two nodes connected to it, so it is marked in plan as a high point. The first low point we had is still there, because it was not affected by the change I did. The low and high points analysis panel will let you select the networks for which low and high point marks should be displayed on plan. You can do this simply by checking or unchecking these boxes. You can also set the symbol size here. That's everything for today's session. In the next couple of sessions, you'll learn about creating longitudinal profiles of pipe networks and how you can use the profile styles to put them in the right format. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.